AVC, it's me, Mitch. Um, just coming to you real quick here with a addition to the vinyl community love chain. That's chain, not train. So there's a new uh, kind of thread going around the VC, and I was lucky enough to be tagged by Christina over at the Vinyl Guru. Uh, basically, the concept is um, the person before you um, connects an album um, that they were tagged with to a new album, and then you take their album of choice and through any means that you possibly can, um, it can be really loose, um, you connect the uh, the previous album to a new one. Um, so Christina over at The Vinyl Guru tagged me, like I said, and um, she ended on Iggy Pop's The Idiot, um, which I believe came out in 77. Um, I unfortunately don't have a copy of that record. Um, I'm really kind of slacking on my Iggy Pop collection. Um, but she, um, she went into really good depth about um, the connections um, that she made between uh, the previous album, which was David Bowie's uh, Young Americans, and then Iggy Pop's The Idiot. And one thing that immediately jumped to my mind was the producer Tony Visconti, uh, specifically because I've been listening to this a lot. Forgive the glare. So this is uh, the new Mobile Fidelity uh, Super Audio CD of T-Rex Electric Warrior. And of course, Tony Fisconti uh, produced all three of the albums that I've brought up, Young Americans, The Idiot, and then This Bad Boy. Um, I love this album. This MoFi pressing sounds awesome. Um, I'm hoping that this sells well enough that we'll get at least a slider from MoFi as well. So anyway, Christina, thanks for tagging me. Um, we're going from the idiot to T-Rex Electric Warrior and, uh, I'm predictable. So I'm going to be tagging my buddy, Billy Hurst. Billy, uh, just make a quick video to connecting the Electric Warrior to whatever album you choose. Anyway, VC, thanks for watching this and we'll see you soon.